enjoyed the channel. This video is going to be the first video of a little mini series that I'm creating. And the mini series is how do little people handle day to day tasks. And now how these videos are going to be in the mini series is if I get a lot of questions on how I do something. So like how do I drive? I get asked all the time. And also how the other videos are going to be put in is if I do a task and I'm like wow. I don't think an average sized person would have to do that. And so that's how these videos are going to be put into this little mini series of just daily tasks that um, average sized people might not have to necessarily think about so much or do differently, but us little people have to be creative and do it in a different way. Before we get into the juicy content of how little people drive, I just want to give you a couple main points about the video just so you have a generalized idea. First of all, I am three foot one, so I'm pretty short. I'm, I'm even on the small side of a little person. Um, my little person type is SED, so that means I have a short torso, but fairly long limbs. My arms would be soup soups long if they went straight. And I have fairly long legs with long fingers. Now, if you want an opposite type of me, that would be a chondroplasia. They have a really long trunk, so when um, they sit at a kitchen table, you can barely even tell that they're a little person. But when they stand up, their little legs and their little arms are quite noticeable, so their big trunk makes them quite tall, but then their little legs give them their shortness. And a, another point for this is the car that I am using and that I drive is a Dodge Dart 2015. It's just a regular car. There's nothing, um, nothing fancy, you know, it's just a regular small car. All right, and one more quick little thing I want to say is that for my setup for my car, there are so many ways and options that you can set up and rig and modify a car for a little person. So the way that I'm going to show you is by all means not the way that you have to set it up. But I just want to make this video so maybe you could get some helpful tips and some ideas on how to set up a car for a little person. And one more quick thing, I just want to make sure that if you're having problems, if you're struggling with setting your car up and if it's just not working out and it's not comfortable, don't forget hand controls. Hand controls are a great option. They might be a little more expensive, a little more, you know, time consuming, but I'd rather somebody be able to drive with hand controls than not be able to drive and have their independence. But let's get started. So, Okay, we have the first thing we're looking at and we're going to start from the bottom of the car and work our way up. So the very first item that I used to customize and modify my car is pedal extensions and it's pretty much in the name pedal extension so down here where my finger is is the original pedal and they don't have their grippy tapes or anything so that the pedal extension the little clamps can be able to stick onto the original pedal and be able to hook on and stay on and then up here is the extension and right here this little bar is that's how much I have extended and they're pretty far out I mean most people don't have their extensions that long but I'm a fairly short person so I gotta have mine out there and also when you are applying your pedal extensions you want to make sure they are on tight you want to make sure they are on forever because this is what makes your car stop and go and if the pedal falls off you're going to be in some major problems so when you're putting these on you know shake them kick them make sure they're on tight because that is a very essential thing when driving thing I have is a wooden block and because of my pedal extensions being up so high um, my feet aren't able to touch the ground and so we have a wooden block right here and so when I'm driving my foot is able to rest here and while I'm still able to use a pedal. Now if you're wondering how we created this all you do is get a car mat like so just a little one and you get a piece of wood block and you measure it out how much you need and or the right height and then you can add some extra upholstery and carpeting there but all you do is you just take screws and you just drill the wood to the mat so it's all there in one piece and that is what I rest my feet on to be able to drive so they're not just dangling in the air I have something solid to put my feet on while I am using my pedals all right, the next thing that I fit slash modify to my car is the dashboard. Now, it's not really the dashboard, but it's more what's inside the dashboard. So, for me able to drive safely and effectively, we turn off my airbags. And 
The reason why is if anything horrific would ever end up happening and the airbag happened to deploy, the airbag would end up doing more damage than good because I'm so close to the steering wheel that it would probably break more bones than me just hitting and impacting the steering wheel. So we turn the airbags and also my parents are little people and they have their airbags off too because they're so close to the steering wheel also. And the next thing is what I change and this is just pretty much for anybody in general but um, I obviously move the steering wheel. I can um, push it out as far as I need. I move it all the way up so that my legs can fit here but I just adjust the steering wheel. Um, it's one of the first things I always fix when I have my seating the appropriate way then I end up fixing the steering wheel. Now moving on to the juicy part of what I like to say um, is my seat. Now this is what I like to call a luxurious booster seat pretty much and what this is it is a custom upholstered seat. We got it from a person that does um, motorcycle seats and we asked him if he'd be able to make this for us and he did it and he did an amazing job on it. So this is the seat and I'm going to bring it in a little closer for you guys to get a better view of it. For the seat, my little person body type is I needed lots of height and I also needed to go out. And so what we did with the custom upholster, he would just get big blocks of foam and he'd let me sit in my mom's car, which was a um, Hyundai Elantra at the time. but. Now she also has a Dodge Dart, but he would just let me sit in the car and he would just add blocks or take blocks away and we finally figured out the right amount of blocks of how many we needed for the appropriate size and once he did that, then he just went above and beyond and made it look all nice and fancy with wonderful fabric and upholstery. And what's also really cool about the seat is at the time when we got this made, my mom and I would share a car and so my mom's probably, oh, a foot taller, maybe six inches taller, somewhere around there. She's definitely taller than me. And so when we would share a car, she would not be able to use this cushion because she would be too high and her legs would be all crammed and jammed up in here. And so he was able to make custom individual seats that are Velcro, and let me show you here. As you can see, it sticks very well because you don't want me sliding anywhere and so this is removable and take outable and you're able to put in a smaller size and my mom's cushion size is probably about half this size so it's probably right about there and so she you know when she wanted to drive she'd just take my cushion out put her cushion in and it would probably be about it'd probably be about this level and she'd have more room to fit her legs in and to be able to drive and then when I want to be able to drive I just put the cushion back in make sure it's in there and I press and there it is and that's the seat for you I'm gonna give you a back view of the seat because um, the upholster guy added some extra safety precautions so I am good to go and able to drive okay and here is what the seat strap looks like in the behind it's just pretty much like your regular amusement park strap it's uh you know like a car seat belt it's very thick this isn't going anywhere if you make sure you uh strap it nice and tight but that's just a extra safety precaution also one quick little tip when you're buying a car you want to make sure you're able to get a car with the seat that is able to adjust up and down back and forth and also recline and so when you're, you know, setting up your car and everything, you know, you're obviously going to want to set up your seat normally. And here is the setup one more time. Here is what it looks like when I am in the car and just about ready to go. So I am fairly low, but I still am able to A, see past the steering wheel and B, see everything that I need to see to be able to drive appropriately and now the steering wheel it looks pretty close to my legs because it is but there's about a centimeter of clearance and um i like to be up this high but if the steering wheel's uh, brushing my legs then i'm not able to execute the turn appropriately so 
this is how I have the steering wheel set up. It's super close to my legs, but it's not touching. And also when I drive, I tend to not really lean back. I mean, I can, I could also put a pillow here too, if I really wanted to, but I'm more of a person that like sits up while they drive, which might not be as comfortable for you, but for me, it's comfortable and I'm able to drive safely. And the whole main goal of setting up your car and rigging it up to you is that A, you can drive, B, you can drive safely, and C, you're comfortable while doing it, and then D, you're being able to be independent and live in this wonderful world and being able to get to each destination you would like. been the video of how little people drive i really hope you enjoyed it and if you thought this video was interesting or if it actually gave you some wonderful helpful tips on how to rig and modify your car give that thumbs up a push and if you have any questions by all means throw them in the comment section i will most definitely read those and get back to you guys and i just want you guys to remember you can conquer all whether small or tall see you guys at the next one